everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just park my bird on this chair. I thought I'd set myself a little challenge. I'm gonna be attempting the OMAD diet. Basically, OMAD is one meal a day. It can be absolutely any time, morning, afternoon, dinner, as long as it's just one meal a day. Now, I've been intermittent fasting for about 40 days now. I've lost quite a bit of weight, probably about 16, 17 pounds in total, but I've never gone a full week of OMAD. So I really wanted to make a video documenting what it's gonna be like. I'm gonna go through the ins and outs, the good, the bad, the ugly, the, I don't know, everything. It's not gonna be a super duper long video, it's just gonna be a quick punch with the facts. This is gonna be my first ever proper video, so please, please, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe, that would be amazing. So to start off, I weighed myself this morning, which is here. I didn't eat or drink anything, I just stepped straight on the scale. My weight, my fat percentage, my water percentage, whatever you call it. And I'm gonna be measuring seven days from now, eating one meal a day, and I'm gonna show you the results. So without further ado, let's go. Currently one o'clock and I'm about to have my only meal for the day. I woke up at about nine o'clock this morning, had two cups of black coffee and two glasses of water. I'm feeling sort of hungry, nothing major though. I'm gonna make a really nice zucchini and cheese lasagna, throwing a bit of keto in there as well. Come and watch me make it. Got all my ingredients. Um, this was actually left over from a shop bought lasagna. I thought I'd keep it because it's really handy to bake stuff in. I've got my courgette, three cheeses, passata, tomato puree, and spinach. I haven't got potato peeler. I'm just gonna try and do it with a knife. This is going so well already. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. What I'm doing here is cutting the courgette as thin as I possibly can, however I'm failing miserably. I'm then putting some sauce in the bottom, spreading it out, putting the, some courgette on, putting the cheese, and then I'm gonna put some more courgette on, put some more sauce, some more cheese, layering it up, bit of spinach, bit more sauce, bit more cheese, salt and pepper, and there you go. Excuse the mess. However, look how nice that looks. That looks beautiful. Pop it in the oven. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of that. Right, got the taste test. That is so nice though. That is literally gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave it there for today, otherwise this video is gonna be about 50 hours long. I'll catch up with you tomorrow, peace. People have seen me in my dressing gown, have you know? You a lucky bunch of people. Wait, before I get started, I need a cup of coffee. I never feel hungry in the morning, but apparently that's because your, your hunger hormone is low, because you've been fasting all night. So in the mornings, you're, you're not usually hungry. And then in the first, like, one to two hours, that's when the hunger starts to come on. I just drink about five cups of coffee. And I'm fine. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my coffee, have a shower, go for a walk, and I will catch up with you later. I wanted to give you an understanding of why OMAD or intermittent fasting is healthy for you. Between zero and three hours after eating food, the digestion process starts. Carbohydrates are being released into the bloodstream and your body starts producing insulin. After three hours, Insulin transports the glucose or sugar, carbs, around the body for energy. Now, after nine hours, your body starts to get starved of carbohydrates and starts to produce ketones. And ketones are used for energy. Now, at about 16 hours plus, your body is using stored fat as energy. Now, this is different for everybody. Some people start earlier, some people start later. Personally, I find that I start at about 16 hours, so I've just put 16 hours down. Now, your body is using stored fat as energy, so it's eating away at the fat to give energy to your heart, brain, lungs, all for free. And we love a freebie, don't we? So that's just a brief description of intermittent fasting and OMAD. So here it is, my meal for today. I have scrambled eggs, I have chicken, cheese, and I put a bit of Cajun seasoning on there as well 
and I've got some spinach. So that's me done for the day. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the informative bit of the video. I'm going back to work tomorrow, so I'm going to get everything sorted. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day getting everything ready. I really hope you enjoyed day two. See you day three. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to do a really quick video this morning. It's currently five past eight in the morning. I've just woken up, had a shower. I'm going to get ready for work, which I start at 10 o'clock. So this morning I did a ketone test using one of these. Now what you do is, you take one of these little strips out, you actually have to pee on it for one to two seconds. This is what it looks like. And it changes colour according to how many ketones are in your body. So I am currently at moderate, which is pretty good. It's taken me a total of three days to get into ketosis, which I'm super duper happy about. It can take between two to five days, so I'm towards the lower end, which is great. And ketosis is basically my body constantly burning fat instead of carbs because I've been eating less than 20 grams of carbs a day. Yesterday, for instance, I ate, I think it was seven in that meal in total. Also, I hope you like the calories in, calories out, calories burnt. I thought I'd add that. It's quite a nice little touch, I think. So I've got my meal prepped for today. I'm having chicken and courgette curry, which I made myself. And instead of rice, I'm having just a load of spinach. I'm going to get changed for work. I'm going to drink my coffee. I will see you around lunchtime. Peace. Here it is, lunch with a view. Uh, it actually doesn't look that nice, does it? Hi everyone, I've just come back from work and I am so hungry. I think it's because it's just a routine to finish work and eat something. So I've gotten home and I'm starving. The urge to eat something now is probably like a solid 8 out of 10. So I might go for a walk. I'm not too sure. Or maybe it's because I didn't actually eat that much today. I don't know. I will fight through it though. Good morning, beautiful people. Now I've woken up feeling still really hungry. And I'm starting to think, am I actually eating enough during my eating window? For instance, yesterday's meal was only about 350 calories-ish, where usually I've been eating about maybe six, 700. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna double up on my food. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna eat about 700 calories today, which should make me feel a bit better. I just don't want this to turn into a video of me basically starving myself. And it's sort of made me think a little bit, am I doing this on purpose because I'm not happy with my body and I'm starving myself? I'm not too sure. But today's a new day. I've got my food ready here. I've got three boiled eggs and I've doubled up on what I made last night, which is spinach, pork and some veg. So that should be enough for today. I'll catch up with you this afternoon when I'm eating my food. Have a great day. Here's my food for today. It actually looks pretty disgusting. <laughs> what has happened to it? But I'm gonna eat it all. Just got back from work. It is currently eight o'clock. So I've had a super long day. I'm really tired. I'm gonna have a coffee, watch a film, and probably fall asleep. I will catch you tomorrow. Peace. Good morning, it is officially day five, which means there's only today, the next day, and the next day to go. I'm feeling really positive this morning. I can start to see changes in my body. I feel, I feel a bit thinner, and that's giving me this boost of confidence. Yesterday I wore a t-shirt in front of people where I usually would not wear a t-shirt in front of people because <laughs> I'm so self-conscious about the shape of my body. I'll catch up with you in work. We're doing like this big training day um, where we're going to cook off the whole menu, which would be good. We get to try it all. I'm obviously going to stick to keto. But when I try the menu, so I won't be having any bread, I'll be eating like the meat, the cheese, the salad, stuff like that. But I'll definitely show you what's up for grabs. It looks delicious. So most of these dishes I can't eat. So you'll see in the next clip, what I managed to actually get. This is what I actually had, mostly meat, mostly cheese, 
pretty satisfied. So I've just come back from work and I really wanted to talk to you about this app called Fastic. Now, I use this app every single day. It records my eating times. So I'll start it and then I'll end it. It's also got some really useful information in there, like what stage you're in when you're fasting. You can communicate with people on there and give each other motivation. It's well worth a download and it is completely free. You can track your water, your weight, and you can even follow some buddies on there as well. So yeah, I recommend you download it. That's gonna be it for day five. I'm feeling really positive. The sun is shining. I'm not feeling hungry at all. On to the penultimate day tomorrow. I'm gonna to cook some food now ready for my lunch. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Peace. Morning everyone. Welcome to my shit tip of a car. I'm about to leave for work. I've got my surfboard, I've got some takeaway boxes in the back. My life's a mess. I've got my food for today. I'm having two steaks, three boiled eggs and spinach. The last of the spinach. I don't think I'm drinking enough water either. I only went to the toilet twice all day yesterday where when I first started intermittent fasting, I was going maybe about 10 times a day. So I'm gonna try and drink more water today. Um, I've got a few conference calls and all that jazz before reopening. I'll catch you lunchtime. See you in a bit. Here's a lovely slow-mo shot of my food. Two steaks, boiled eggs and spinach, probably about 600 calories. Hi everyone, how you doing? I've got an absolute banging headache. That doesn't help. I don't think I'm drinking enough water. Like I really don't think I'm drinking enough water. I just feel like dehydrated and my mouth's really dry all the time. I'm around my eyes are hurting. Oh, <laughs> tripped. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Have a look at it. So I might go for a walk, clear my head, get some fresh air because I've been inside all day. Tomorrow is the last day. Can you believe it? I can't, it's gone so fast. I don't know whether to weigh myself. I'm gonna weigh myself Sunday morning um, and then I'll give you the result. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm sure I've lost weight though. I've got to, um, but I'll check in with you when I do. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tomorrow, but first I'm gonna have a cup of tea. No, I'm gonna have a water. So, it's the last day. Sorry, I look a bit of a mess after talking up. <sighs> Crazy. I've got some boiled eggs, some tuna, and some cheese for my lunch today. Tomorrow is the weigh in. Super excited. I'm also really surprised at how much money I've actually saved. It doesn't come as a surprise because I'm only eating one meal a day. I did a shop in Aldi before I started this and I spent £24. Now I've just had a look at the receipt and gone through everything I've actually used and I've only actually spent £14 in a week <laughs> on food which is crazy. This is something I might do on a regular basis, maybe three days a week. Not just for health benefits, but just to save money as well. I'll catch you later. Cheers. So here it is, my last one meal a day for a week meal. Three eggs, loads of tuna, cheese, and a bit of mayonnaise. Thought I'd treat myself. Let's dig in. Well, that's me done. Good morning, it's currently six o'clock and I'm about to weigh myself. Let's have a look. So, there you have it. I lost just under five pounds in seven days eating at one meal a day. Here are some other stats as well. If you did like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I quite enjoy doing these challenge videos, so I've got a good one for next time. I'm gonna get ready, it's the 4th of July. It's opening day. I will see you in the next video. Peace.